Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And uh, if you are on Windows 11 build 21H2, you have the C-band updates today. It is not available to 22H2 yet. So it's really 21H2. Uh, if you head to your settings and to your Windows updates, you will see that uh, there's an optional update available. And of course, it will ask you to download and install as it is not, as it is optional for now. But as you know, optional is, you know, a big thing. It's a rather big term because it's actually going to install with the Patch Tuesday updates anyways next month. So what's in the, uh, first of all, the KB number? 502-2905 is what you're getting. KB 502-2905. You can check it out with the update history if you want to see if it's installed. On mine, there's nothing because uh, we are on 22H2 here, which does not have the update yet. So if you're on 22H2, nothing yet. It's going to arrive possibly later this week. So um, KB502-2905 on Windows 1121H2. Uh, uh, if you go to the Winver, you will be at build 22000.1641. So that's what is a, uh, going to be the update. Uh, in the highlights, uh, there's an update that will add advanced auto learning for facial recognition. Uh, color filter settings also. Uh, that uh, that is um, it affects uh, a problem that's affecting the color filter settings uh, when you set the system to grayscale instead. Um, of course, there's an issue that uh, uh, fixes the IE mode in Edge. So these are similar to Windows 10, actually. Uh, but there are other things. So there's an update for the uh, APPX state repository. Uh, so there's a, um, a fix here for a improper cleanup. There's a fix for uh, anyone that is um, in Mexico that uh, the government's daylight saving time changes. Uh, there's also um, a fix for conflicting policies for edge. Uh, so that is one of the problems. Of course, also there's a um, update that actually there was some kind of problem that could occur with the uh, LSAS, which is the Local Security Authority System Service, that might stop report, re, responding uh, when you run a system prep. And uh, there's an update for issues uh, for server manager uh, that uh, there's kind of problems with uh, parity and virtual disks. Things like that. Uh, so pretty much a lot of stuff that might not be uh, something that um, is a problem for you. And of course, like I say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So if you don't have any issues, just ignore this update. It will install anyway, like I said, in March with the security updates. But for now, you know what? You just ignore it, and uh, you won't have to uh, don't have to install it. If you have issues or something that I mentioned is a problem, then you can of course install it uh, today. The uh, updates are available for Windows 11, 21 H2 only. Nothing for 22H2 yet, and no security updates in here. Uh, so today, February 21st, 2023. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.